over something super quick that just happened to me on Twitch. Uh, it's just after 2 a.m. on what is now Friday, November the 18th, 2022. Someone with the name Irene underscore 77 Lucky uh, privately messaged me on Twitch. Pretty rare and strange to begin with. But anyways, this person, Irene 77 Lucky, DM'd me on Twitch promoting their SwiftStream.com website platform thing. Pardon the crinkling if you hear that. I got a freaking glove on and some ointment. This person, robot thing, um, is promoting their platform uh, as a... A competitor to something like Restream.io, so it's a multi-stream website, but um, I do not recommend you check this website out or log in with your Twitch account or anything like that, because there's just tons of red flags right now. The person that messaged me, um, some broken English, some weirdly worded stuff, so there's a red flag there, and then also on their website, uh, this person linked it in the Twitch DMs, and I clicked it, I didn't have any issues, there was no viruses or anything, got on their website, and their website has a lot more broken English and weirdly worded stuff, um, it's super new as well, and it, it's just... Overall, I just get a I get bad vibes from from this from this website layout. So don't log in to SwiftStream.com. Don't know if I said that at the start, but it's called SwiftStream.com. Don't log in with your Twitch account. Don't authorize anything. It's super sus to me. Um, but, you know, that's just at the moment. I, I'd like to be proven wrong if it's a legit service, um, but at the moment it looks really bad for them, and they also, I, uh, I went on that, like, scam detector website, uh, that detects websites and, and scams and stuff. They gave it a 58.4, and that's not good. It's average, but it's not... I think that's below average, actually. I think the average score of a legit website is like a positive score. But anyways, the Scam Detector Validator website place thing gave it a 58.4. And overall, there's just been lots of broken English. Don't log in to SwiftStream.com with your Twitch account. Don't authorize anything. And uh, practice some some internet etiquette and don't click strange links like I did. <laughs>